getting custom apps downloaded and set up for CS2 has been a ton of effort up until now. They've finally added a workshop and it's super easy to get new maps to play. In this quick video, I'll be showing you the best way that you can set up a crosshair in CS2. Obviously, you can do it in settings followed by game, then crosshair, and you'll be able to customize it here, but it's super limited in the way that it looks. There are much better ways that we can do this. All you need to do is in the description down below, head across to the crashes crosshair generator on the brand new Counter-Strike 2 workshop, then click subscribe. You can get here on Steam as well by in Steam, heading across to CS2, followed by workshop, then, then search for crosshair up here. Otherwise, you can just click through on the most popular and you'll more than likely find it here. Select it, followed by subscribe. Then in your game, head across to play, followed by workshop maps at the very top, and you'll be able to find it in here as well as all the other workshop maps you've set up. Simply click go after selecting it, choose either of these modes, then pick a side and you'll be dropped in here. In front of us, we'll have a very simple way of adjusting our crosshair, as well as a picture that we can change down here, simply by shooting and interacting. It's a good idea to check your crosshair on multiple maps just to see if the color profile suits it. Then on the left, we have multiple adjustments such as length, thickness, cap, and outline. If we simply click in the center, it'll turn it to whatever is set here. We can expand it and contract it, expand the gap, contract or reset to zero, thickness, reset to one, length, reset to one, plus, minus, etc. You can use this to very finely tune your crosshair to your liking. And at the bottom, toggle T-shape as well as dot. Very simple. On the far right, you'll have multiple options here, but these apply to different types. We have at the very top, static, hybrid, which moves while you're shooting and dynamic which changes while you move and shoot. When you choose dynamic, you'll be able to change these options on the far right, such as the split ratio, which is how far the dots move as far as I understand. Yep, you go. The split distance, inner split alpha and outer split alpha. But for the most part, static is probably the best here. On the far right, we have the brand new toggles for CS2, including follow recoil, which we can turn on to follow our recoil up and down. Dynamic gap, which has pretty much always been here. Friendly fire warning, which is this little circle showing target ID, which is also a nice, simple toggle. Sniper crosshair thickness, this is also a pretty cool one. And HUD color up here, so we can change how our entire HUD looks, which is pretty cool. By default, it'll be this top left one, which changes dynamically based on which team you're on. On the far left over here, we have professional players, but we can simply click across it to take it completely. It's very simple. Simply look for what you want, select it, now you're done. That's it. Then, if we head across to the far right, there's an outside section where a bunch of bots will spawn, and you can practice your aim live. Further adjust your crosshair to get closer to what you like until you eventually find something that works for you. That's really it. It's a very useful map that previously I'm pretty sure you had to go through a bunch of steps to download, but now you can just get it and it works. The workshop is a great addition that's finally showed up after such a long time. Then when you're finally done customizing your crosshair on the inside of him, you'll find a save and exit button. This will close the game. There is no other way to save right now. You'll need to click this and we do. Yes, your game will close entirely. Then the next time you fire it up, assuming you don't have custom crosshair settings in an auto exec config file, everything should be saved and ready for use once more. If you don't save and instead just quit out to join a match or something like that, I'm pretty sure your crosshair will stay, but it won't stay persistent between game launches. So as soon as you close it, it'll go away again. If we check settings, game, crosshair, you can see it's updated successfully here. It's a really good map that I'd highly recommend you try out as it's far more in depth than the settings menu. And it's definitely worth investing some time as a good crosshair can have a huge impact on your gameplay. But anyways, that's really about it for the super quick guide. Once again, you'll find the workshop map linked in the description down below. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.